Live from Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse, the home of the Cavs, this is 19 News. The Cleveland Charge wrapping up the regular season tomorrow in Birmingham. And at the helm of the franchise, a hard-hitting female general manager that's breaking barriers for women not only in Cleveland, but all around the G League. Ashley Holder has her inspirational story getting to the NBA. Well, it was a long journey. Uh, obviously, born and raised in Israel. Grew up into a, fa a family of my brother played. My dad was a GM. Um, you know, I did a lot of things on the way. I was an agent. I worked for a EuroLeague team. Eventually, I figured that what I want to do is be in the highest level of basketball, which is the NBA. So I imagine when people see your resume, they're like, wow, you've literally played every single role that you can think of. So how has all of those roles been able to benefit you in this position of being a general manager? You think it would, right? Um, yeah, I came here. I thought I did a lot, and I thought I'd be very ready. Um, and my first year was a lot of ups and downs because the NBA is very different than anything else I did. And it's been a journey, um, but I think everything I went through till that point to coming here kind of prepared me to deal with all the adversity I had to deal with here. I know your dad shaped your, um, I don't want to say vision of basketball, but kind of introduced you to basketball first. How big was he for you in wanting to be a general manager? And what would you say were the biggest things that you learned from your father? My dad had great passion for two things, um, basketball and people. And what he did best is combine them. Um, as a GM, I used to go with him everywhere and watch how he interacts with the players, how he interacts with the coaches, what he does, how, how is he as a leader, you know, what steps he's taking. So for you, you are the first of this franchise. Yeah. Was that intimidating for you at all? And if not, what was your mindset when you said, okay, I know I'm going to be the first. How am I going to go in there to make sure that they take me seriously as a woman in this game? I, I never looked at, at myself being a female um, as an underdog or as someone who cannot do certain things. I always walk into a room with my head up. It's what you know, right? It's, it, whether you're a, a, a male or a female, it's what you know, it's what you're good at, and that's what should matter. For you, what do you tell other young women that see you walking courtside and seeing you do this job and say, I want to be that next GM? I say, uh, obviously, believe in your dreams, but also be a, be a student of the game. Uh, be a student of everything around the game. Make sure you know your stuff. Uh, make sure you network as much as you can. Make sure you do the right things. Make sure you hold yourself accountable to things that you need to learn um, and things you don't do the right way. Um, and make sure you get better every day. And don't be afraid to go out there and speak. And don't be afraid to put yourself out there. So is it safe to say that the next step could be a GM in the NBA? I mean, I always, I always uh, manifested that I'll be in the NBA and I'll be a GM of an NBA team one day. So I'm still manifesting that. Uh, I'm very happy where I'm at now. I'm learning every day. I'm enjoying my role. I enjoy working with our people, with our players. Um, I don't know when it's going to come, I just know it's going to come. All right, and that was Ashley Holder reporting. Thank you, Ashley. All right, back here about the Cavs. The tip-off tonight for the game is at 7.30. You can watch it free on 43. And after tonight, we have two more games for you. The last two games, back-to-back -back games in L.A. against the Lakers and the Clippers, and that is coming up in April.